In this video, we're going to see how to name and write formulas for molecular compounds. Uh, molecular compounds are also sometimes called covalent compounds. So you might have heard the term covalent compound instead, uh, but it's the same, same thing. So molecular or covalent compounds, they are compounds made up of two or more different non-metals. So there's no metals in them. Ionic compounds had metals. The molecular compounds do not have metals in them. It's two or more different non-metals only. Uh, so a great example would be S2F5 or um, maybe S3F6. I don't know if that actually exists, but we're just going to show you some examples that these are both compounds that only have non-metals in them. If you want to name them for molecular compounds, not for ionic, but for molecular compounds, you need to use what's called the Greek prefixes. You need to use mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nona, deca. This means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you, when you're naming these compounds, uh, you want to start off with the first element. You want to see how many of it there are. There's two. So you put di for two. Uh, and the first element, its name is sulfur. So disulfur. For the second element, you're going to do the same thing. There's five of them. So you're going to put penta. But the difference here is that for the second element, you need to change its ending. It's named to IDE from INE. So fluorine becomes fluoride. Penta fluoride. S3F6. You can probably try that on your own, but let's try it out here. So we have sulfur, there's three of them. So let's try sulfur. And then there's six fluorines. So it's hexa, but you have to change the ending to IDE, fluoride. Uh, there is one weird exception or rule. Um, so let's look at, for example, CO. There's, this is molecular because it's two non-metals. Um, now, if you look at carbon, normally you would think there's one carbon, so we put monocarbon. But if the first element is one, don't use mono for it, for that first element. It's just that's the only weird rule there. So you would call this carbon. Oxygen is one, so you would say monoxide. Now, don't put monoxide. You don't want the repeating vowel like that. You usually don't want two vowels like that repeating if they're the same. So you can just take, away, take that away and you have the carbon monoxide. Let's try this one. So carbon, um, the next one we'll do is this one here, CO2. So molecular because it's two non-metals. First element is carbon with a, there's a one, so we're not going to put the mono. Second element is oxygen. There's two of them. So di, not oxygen, but dioxide because you have to change the ending of the second element all the time. Uh, again, do not use these Greek prefixes for ionic, only use them for molecular. Uh, let's try one more. Let's do SF6, molecular because it's two nonmetals. One sulfur, so no need to put disulfur, trisulfur, monosulfur, only one sulfur. We don't put mono there. We do use the prefixes for the first element if it's not one, like disulfur, trisulfur, but if it's one, we do not put the mono there for the first element only. Uh, this is fluorine, so that would be hexa fluoride, sulfur hexa fluoride. So that's how to write a name from a formula. Sometimes you might be given a formula instead, and you have to write its name. And it's actually a lot easier um, than for ionics. So let's do this. Let's put uh, dichlorine um, hepta iodide, dichlorine heptaiodide. So we just write them in the order they appear. Dichlorine, so that means we have two chlorines, so Cl2, and then iodide, I, hepta means seven, Cl, uh, Cl2, I7. There's no crisscrossing, there's no switching, thing, switching things up, it's just, just what you see there. So Cl2, I7, let's try this one here, let's do, um, Penta sulfur, penta sulfur, um, tri 
iodide. This is the only one where we, where we usually have the repeating vowels there. Um, we wouldn't cancel out the I's, so penta sulfur triiodide. So again, we know it's molecular because you have Greek prefixes and they're both non-metals only. Uh, sulfur is, there's five of them because of the penta. Iodide, there's three of them because of the tri. S, five, I, three. That's penta sulfur triiodide. And so in this video, we saw a quick review of what molecular compounds were. We saw how to name molecular compounds using the Greek prefixes. Um, and we also saw how to write formulas for molecular compounds by just using the Greek prefix knowledge and writing down the number that there are based on the um, Greek prefix um, meaning.